you got two di- two different type of people in this world. You really got three, right? The first person is the person that's watching from the sideline. Mm-hmm. That's the person that's saying, "Hey, I admire what you're doing." They're not. I'm not saying hating or anything. Like we're not talking. We're just talking about strictly the mindset. Right. I'm not hating. I'm just watching from the sideline. I just like what you're doing. Then you got another person who's maybe doing the same thing as you. And then you got the person that's saying, bro, this is my life. Mm. Like, it's nothing else to it. It's no B, C. It's only got an A. And this is it. That's me. Mm. Like, I'm I'm that third person. I'm that third person that's, this is it. You got to want it. Yo, this video is sponsored by Los Hermanos, and it's crazy because I always wanted to have a uh, tequila sponsorship. So shout out to my guys over at Los Hermanos for taking a shot with me, doing this partnership thing. I really appreciate it. Listen, I like it so much, I might just be worse than uh, Rick Ross, bro. So if you see me on the gram posting it all over my story and my gram, don't say nothing. Just go ahead and buy a bottle. I got it by the case. So look, we got the Blanco. We also got the Repo. And you know, my favorite is in Yeho, right? We got it on the way. You know, like I said, we got it by the case, man. So listen, if you in Delaware, you in Georgia, you in Maryland, you in New York, you in Jersey, make sure you go to the nearest liquor store and ask for some Los Hermanos. Hey, my guys. Yeah. Sheesh, we in the building, man. So, man. Jay Hill Podcast, I'm here. Tevin Towns is here. What That's up, bro? Somewhere. People That's was asking me, was that your real name? Yeah. Just giving like celebrity, like you giving movie star or something. Tevin Towns. Nah, that's really my real name, though. What up? What you mean? How you feeling, bro? What's going on? Feel good, man. I'm grateful, blessed. Yeah, I'm. I'm grateful to be here on this on this podcast. Nah, you man, know? you my brother. Man, you help me out, man. I want people to know, like, nigga, been helping. Me. Niggas think I'm selfish with the game. I'm really not. You feel right. me? That's why I can bring you up here. You know what I'm saying? This is the nigga that been helping me out with the videos. Nigga is like that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need to get to know him. I appreciate that, man. Man, like, so what's up, bro? You in an A? Like. What the what, what what the people need to know that they don't know right now? I feel like um I guess we can start. What, what brought you to the A? Can you talk about uh, that? Yeah, yeah, I should be able to talk about. It. I mean, yeah, no, we good. Um, so Aristotle Investments, Honey Drip, um, Honey Drip Network mm-hmm. came down here on a contract and um went great. You know what I'm saying? A contract. How did how do you find people like that? Because that's like, bro, when you when we talk about photography and videography, I feel like that's one of the higher levels of making it. Like, a nigga brought you down here. He paid for everything, brought you down here. That's success yeah. right there. Yeah. I mean, f- I want to first start off and just say he a good guy, pray. Mm-hmm. And then, like, um, secondly is it's relationships. So, like, I we came down here. I was actually shooting with someone else on New Year's of 2021. Mm-hmm. And um, I was actually shooting with a whole different person who actually had me come down here <laughs> to film them. And um, he came to uh, Young Thugs. It was Young Thug Crib, uh, Airbnb. And um, he was there. He was talking about trading and stuff like that. He was still in the Army at the time. And he wasn't living here, but he was ready to move here. He was like, bro, I'm ready to buy a house, uh, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? And um, he was like, you know, later on down the line, he, he was going to move into everything that he's basically saying now, podcast space, everything. And this was back in like 2021. Mm. And um, you know, we followed each other on Instagram and always made sure we, you know, we liked each other's content and stuff like that. So this year, um, uh, well last year, September, um, of 2023, he was just like, I need somebody. You know, sign the editors, this, 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 and this, and this. And um, you know, he came and got me. So, you know, well, Damn. I got in contact with him as well. I'm not gonna say like like that, but we both got on the phone. I came down here for, uh, is that Invest Fest? I think mm-hmm. it was Invest yeah, Fest. Invest Fest. Yeah, I came down here for Invest Fest. We, we killed it. He did great talking and everything. Like, um, And from there, he was just like, come on down, bro. And mm. that's, that's what it was. That's crazy. Yeah, Yo, that. how do you, like, I guess when you're trying to be successful as a photographer slash videographer, like, what, are the, what would you say the steps are? Like, where do you start? Um, So me, like, I was blessed. I was fortunate enough, you know, um, having uh, Lorenzo Simpson around and Javante Tate Davis. Mm-hmm. Just like at that moment of their life, they was 
they was already great boxers, but they had that Floyd Mayweather snap. Mm. And then I'm shooting with them. Like I But how did I you just, even get them? Because they was somebody. Like, how did you even get there? So Lorenzo is family. Mm. And then well, Javante is family too. But um Lorenzo is family, like his family family. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So um just going to the gym, man, man, man truck, we went to the same school, you know what I'm saying? His fam my family. So um, you know, we used to live with each other at one point in time. And then from there it's just once I grabbed, I, we went to the mall to go buy some designer. Mm -hmm. And there wasn't nothing in the mall to buy, but I used to always be recording on my phone all the time. And one time my phone was dead, and um, I was just like, bro, I'm going to go buy a camera. And then one of my homeboys, his name uh Vince, we mm -hmm. call him V12, he was like, yeah, ain't ready to go buy no camera. And then I asked him, like, yo, can you take me to Best Buy? Why well, take me to Best Buy? And I was ready to try to buy a little cheap $600 Canon camera. But then... um. The salesman, he was just too good. Like yo, yo wind up, nigga, he wind up um persuading me to buy the sixty four hundred when it first came the out. It came out with yeah. it came out with the kit lens mm -hmm. and it with a different lens at the time it was like twelve fifty. And I wound up just buying it. And then um from there I was recording truck at the gym, but then I wound up putting the camera back in the bag and the mode switch. And then Truck was like, no, take this out because I'm ready to knock Shorty out. Mm. Like he was saying, like, I'm ready to drop him in the small session for real. Like, he too tired. So I go to take it back out, and I think that I'm recording. Whole time I'm taking pictures. Damn. And then when he get out the ring, we got the first two small sessions, but the last small session was it was when he dropped him. We didn't get that. You feel me? So when he got out the ring, it's Coach Calvin wiping his face. Um, he got sweat coming out of his face, and Coach Calvin wiping his face. I took that picture, put it in black and white, took to the truck, he posted, and then people was just hitting me. Damn. So, like, literally, like, the camera was a blessing. Like, it f that fell in my lap. But just the steps of what I was taking was, like, always just keeping my content clean and not trying to do what the mess is doing. So, like, right now, like, lifestyle is everything. Mm -hmm. I, it's a time for lifestyle. That's summertime, not all year round. Mm. You feel me? So it's different categories and different pockets that you got to study. Like, bro, it's just like everything else. It's like life. It's studying. the seasons. Wait, hold up. I think I talked to Cam Kirk about this, and I'm talking about building relationships, right? Yeah. As a cameraman videographer, I feel like in this space right now, it's super hard to keep one person on your side because they always jump into different opportunities, especially yeah. if you're not somebody that got a crazy bag, right? Yeah. And that can keep somebody exclusively. But... As time continues to tell, even with you, with Truck Tank, you were able to build up off of having a relationship with Truck and Tank. Yeah. Why, why, what do you think's changed now? Because I feel like nowadays videographers and photographers, they're not really trying to stay with one specific person, especially not trying to grow with nobody because like they need the bag, which is yeah. understandable. But it's like, it's, 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 I, get, I got mixed feelings on it. Because like, one, you, you can stay with, like, Cam, he was talking about how he was... Uh, he was with Future at first, and then he didn't do a good job, and then he was able to get with Scooter, and then him working with Scooter, him working alongside Scooter helped him raise his profile. Yeah. A lot of the, uh, photographers and videographers, you don't see them working with somebody coming up right? because they need a bag, so they got to have different like clients. What yeah. do you think on that? Um, relationships is relationships, whether it's in any category. Mm -hmm. So the same way like you look at like a, like a man and woman relationship, mm -hmm. You still have to like, you you, you still have to have a relationship with a person, mm -hmm. and what I mean by that is just like, it's like, you you locking in with one person helps you practice your skill set. Mm. So therefore, it's like, if you marry, y'all gonna go through every different emotion with a woman. That's mm -hmm. why I said they are the same thing. So like, man, truck. There's plenty of times where I was like. I'm like, all right, okay, cool. I'll use truck for practice, but I'm taking practice like it's the game. Mm -hmm. Like you don't you don't see no bad content on truck, but I'm practicing it on them even to this day. Now it's like when people think of practice, they think that oh, we ain't getting paid, we ain't getting no, you getting paid here, mm. and that's the difference. Like if I never if I never just stuck by those two people, and even Tank 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 got me my first uh. Magazine with well, Box Raw. You get what I'm saying? This is back in 2019. So, like, this way before Box Raw even 
who they are today. Like, if you look at a 29 magazine, most of those pictures are mine. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, just always sticking with those guys or holding on to the relationships outside of photography is what kept me inside of photography Damn. and videography. At what time do it switch, though? Because, like, we talk about, like, knowing you were so at what... When do you know, all right, this isn't somebody I need to practice on and I need to understand my my worth and my value and I need to get paid for everything? Because, like, it switches. And then even when it switch, it might be a person now that you might be willing to practice with. Like, if a Floyd Mayweather came to you, that's a big enough opportunity. Yeah. But at what point, like, when is, like, this opportunity don't match where I'm at right now and it ain't worth it, I guess? Um, How do you know that? It, it switches when... When... You start putting yourself first. When you start understanding who you, when you start remembering who you are, mm. like I had to, I had to remember who I was. Like, bro, like I didn't come this far, like the Jay Z narrative. Mm -hmm. I didn't come this far to come this far. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, like whenever man truck is around each other, we always going to work. Mm. Like it's that's just inevitable. Whether he say, and it's it's times where he have said, bro, here go a thousand dollars. Here go. 2000 or I just fought here you go like gifts or whatever you feel me like I'm never just saying like anything is free that even when like I said we we actually lived together before so it's like bro I got food today or I got food today so even through those things you're getting paid bro sometimes it's not really all about the money for real and I and, and that's a cliche to say because I mean look at the times we living in but the relationship equals to the money mm -hmm. because if I never shot with truck and he had a hundred K followers you don't get the stay down Travs, you don't get the dubs, you don't get the the fatties. These are the, the guys who seen my work with those guys, the King Midas. They seen my work with them and said, Oh bro, we gotta go get him. Mm. And then from them, through through the through the dubs and the fatties, you meet Aristotle. Mm. And then from the Aristotles, he bring the glow jays around. He bring the he 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 showed me a whole different life. How to how he even showed me he even he he showed me life beyond just photography and videography. He showed me how to take real life uh, obstacles and, and plug them into my actual career. So you're giving me game, but you're also giving like cameraman game as well. And I'm trying to be selfish, but let them get the game too. How does an entrepreneur build a relationship with a cameraman? If they don't have the funds, like how, like, cause I've had so many cameramen is like they, they always work. hopping around, and they'd be like, "How do I keep? Yeah. They got one nigga. They gotta want it though. Mm. See, like you got people like it, it's a lot of a lot of stuff. I'm gonna say is gonna be cliche, but, but it's cliche you, for a reason because it's true. Yeah, because it's true. Yeah. You feel me? You got two di two different type of people in this world. You really got three, right? The first person is the person that's watching from the sideline. Mm -hmm. That's the person that's saying, "Hey." I admire what you're doing. They're not, I'm not saying hating or anything. Like, we're not talking. We're just talking about strictly the mindset. Right. I'm not hating. I'm just watching from the sideline. I just like what you're doing. Then you got another person who's maybe doing the same thing as you. And then you got the person that's saying, bro, this is my life. Mm. Like, it's nothing else to it. It's no B, C. It's only got an A. And this is it. That's me. Mm. Like I'm, I'm that third person. I'm that third person. Is this is it? You gotta want it. Like even it's, it's times where, where Ari was like, bro, you gotta step up. Like your editing ain't is where I needed to be at. So I was sitting in the house. Like, I was sitting in the house, bro, and not leave out. Not but go that's nowhere. That's a different relationship and, because he's paying you. I'm saying, how do you be like? How does an entrepreneur, somebody that got something going on, build a relationship with a cameraman? And he might not have a budget. Like how? how in today's society, how does that even how does that get introduced? Like you and Truck, like you and Truck grew up together, so right. like you know what I'm saying. I mean, but outside it, of that, the, the I'm, I'm asking, I'm like, bro, like adding how, value. You gotta wanna be there. Mm, that like, makes that's sense. just simple. You gotta find somebody that wanna be. there. You gotta find somebody that see. That's your, hard though. You gotta find some. It's not a lot of us. Yeah, that's hard. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's not a lot of us, bro. <laughs> Get a nigga to see your vision. You gotta nigga, see I somebody. See my like, like when Arya, when Arya explained his vision to me, bro, I see it. Like mm. to the, to this day now, it's like, what you know? what I'm saying like he he's forever going to be family. I, mm. I forever see his vision. Like you know what I'm saying because. I understand, like I understand myself and in, in, in people. Like I can look at a person. That's how I, I look at a person. Like I, I, I learned so much. Like 
within like the last couple of years, even psychology, like looking in the person, uh, looking into a person's left eye, I'll tell you everything mm. about them. You mm. feel me? So it's like when I seen that, I seen the reflection of myself. So I mean, and then like just my work, bro. It's like it's multiple times I didn't did it for free. Mm. It's only about time the universe say, "Huh, takes it all." Mm-hmm. But like, I, I done did a lot for free, bro. No, I like what I like about you. The same thing I told uh, Gio. I like niggas that take a, initiative. Like, don't, yeah. cause sometimes when you got a team and like you building and and this is just for my entrepreneurs. Sometimes like when you're not paying a nigga, you you kind of like allow things to be what they is because you don't want to be beggars can't be choosy, right? Right. But then, like you say, you got different people who come around who just like. Just take initiative. Like this nigga, I remember we was um I was doing something for Marcus. Cause like, you know, I got cameras and shit. I'm not yeah. no cameraman, but I can help niggas out. For sure. Somehow, man, out he's had the light, like, hold up. Or like he was just taking initiative. This nigga, I wasn't getting paid. He wasn't getting like so he, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't getting paid. This nigga ain't, but he just taking initiative. And I feel like the same way with you. Like, even like when we did the uh the track video, like just asking questions, like something yeah. so small. Cause like nowadays, like you get a nigga on a team and they be like, man, they want to do the bare minimum because they ain't getting paid. But it's like, bro, if, you might as well just not be here. Right. Like just don't even be here. Like I'd rather you not be here than to be here in half ass. Like bro, it was times where truck would have another videographer and I was just there. Like I was there just frames, like frames for example, like frames, if frames going to see this podcast, mm. he know like, I'm just there, like, learning from frames, watching everything he do. That's smart, Or damn. just moving your, like, carrying, wiping truck uh, sweat when 24K visuals were shooting with him at the time because I stepped away. When you step away, I had to step away and go get the bag. Mm. He understood that because he stepped away when it's fight time to go get the bag. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when I stepped away to go get the bag because we still got our own lives, for real. You feel me? Mm. So when I stepped away and when I came back, you don't just come back and, and think that you're entitled to the first place. Mm. No, whoever there, that's first place. And you you be assistance of that. So it's like you got to learn how to and, – and that's something that I learned from Baltimore. It's like you have to you have to learn how to know when you're the boss and then know when you're a team leader. Mm. You feel me? That got to be balanced. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Fact. It got to be 50-50. Then so what you think about uh, Meek Photographer? He's from Baltimore, right? What's yeah, Carter. Yeah, yeah, Carter Visions. Yeah, Carter Visions. Yo, even like shit like that, I feel like, again, I don't know, but I would think like that's a photographer, videographer, like dream. Like yeah. a nigga meet, meet, right? He bring him on and now he just meet photographer, videographer nation with everybody like, and the shit is fire. Niggas is looking at it like, nah, this shit hard. Even they don't know the yeah, name. For sure. Like, is that a goal for you? Um, as far as like meeting somebody and like just being that photographer and... Like yeah, not not yeah. saying that's the only goal, but just it's curious. For sure, yeah, definitely. I mean, that's that's what it is with me and truck. Like truck is gonna be somebody, bro. Mm, truck is that. somebody. You know what I'm saying? So that's it's fire. like that's I'm hard. not even tripping. Ar- Aristotle, bro, is one of the biggest top traders under the age of 30 years old, bro. Just to say I even got that on my portfolio was a blessing, mm. bro. Like we talking about somebody that not even down to the materialistic things, but. Like somebody that really may have had real conversations in a Rari, mm. a Ferrari. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, where we come from, yeah. I don't get to just do that. Like, no, you're right. even to just move me down here, bro. Like, bro, that's come big. from where you come from <laughs> yeah. and come down here, bro. Facts. That's like, big. just off of top of that, bro, That's big. you don't get no more grateful than what you are. You know that's what, what I do so, like about Baltimore, though. Like, you see how you like, niggas, niggas... <laughs> Niggas come from nothing, so they're just going to appreciate something. Yeah. I feel like a lot of niggas be arrogant and just like, just, they really. Like um, Midas. Even Midas, bro. Like, no, 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 no. no. Like, don't even mean to cut you off, because I had to say, like, before I forget this, like, even working with Midas, bro, like, Midas used to pay me $500 for 30 minutes. Damn. Like, photo shoots. I mean, I mean that's what I charge regularly, but I'm talking about we'll do something in 30 minutes. Like, literally. And he'll still give me five. Like, he ain't never said, oh, no, he go $100. Or he go, you know what I'm saying? We only cut time. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we took five hours. Sometimes we took two hours. But it got to a time where we, it was just psychology. Like, we would just we would just get on the phone with each other. I got this outfit. Tell what you think the move for this outfit is. I mean, I think we should do outside in an in a, in a, in a, in a opening. He's like, oh, okay, cool. I think we should do it midday. And it's like, we, we just 
we already connecting. And then when we get outside, it's 30 minutes. He's like, huh, bro, take this five, bro. Don't don't ever dip your prices with me. Mm. So it's just once you got those relationships, bro, it's not about how many different people you shoot with. It's about the re- taking care of people that's already with you. Mm. And that's what I did. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody that I shoot with, I give them my all, my 100%. Even new people. Like I'll sit down with like the 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 so the fitness girl that I'm, I'm shooting with now, McFit. You know what I'm saying? Great brand. Even with her, like we last night, I I'm, I recorded content for myself, put that on my page, left left from edited the same day, put that out on my page, left that, I mean left the house, went down, and we started at seven o'clock. We didn't leave till one something in the morning shooting them pictures, mm. just so we can get the right pictures, and we edited them that night, so today they could be out. You yeah. get what I'm saying? So it's like. You have to take care of your people, bro, regardless. Like, whether you're making money or not, you got to want to do it. No, See, like, right. like the universe know my attention behind it. You know what I'm saying? And so even when we did our video, it's like, in my head, okay, if you realize we went around, the first time we went around, we went around with the up and downs. Mm-hmm. Boom, boom, boom. And you, if you see it, I'm like, okay, right now, I, I, I realize you was mentally putting yourself in that space. Mm-hmm. That's where you can see it. You're like, all right, cool. I'm a little tired. And then if you look, if you think about the video, you almost half of the track. But I'm like, come on, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, we out here. You know, whatever, whatever. And then from there, it's like, okay, you you talking about a motherfucker keep motivating you all you want. You know what I'm saying? Somebody tell you, you know what I'm saying? At, you know, it was, it was a point of, it's a, it's a point in everybody's life where we go through little hardships and we like, man, we feel like it's the end of the world. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, and we, yeah. don't want, we don't care what nobody say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So at that point, I can keep saying to you as we go around, come on, bro, come on, bro, come on, bro. At some point in time, you're going to be like, bro, you ain't doing this. <laughs> you just holding the camera. Facts, so yeah. from there, it's like, how do you switch the narrative, still make it interesting? And how, and how do you actually make the substance of the video work mm. or what the content is about? So you start asking questions. Now I completely took your whole headspace off of what we actually doing. Yeah. Giving you time to actually sit there that and talk. That shit was hard as fuck. You feel me? Yeah. So that shit was hard. Like, that shit was hard. You just got to want to do it, bro. It's a psychology to it. It's like content these days is like the reason, the reason why, like, content is content equals money. But you have to know how to convert the content over. Mm. Like, the content has to have substance towards your brand. You feel I me? Mean? A lot mm-hmm. of people out here just making content. It's like, oh, it's going to work. Like a million people got podcasts, but you only see what we we the talk Club Shay Shay, <laughs> yeah. uh, Ro- Joe Rogan, Facts. Joe <laughs> Button. Like it, we can we could clearly see pick off our dogs, hands yeah. who the top dogs is, but it's billions of con um uh podcasts. Uh, podcasts. Yeah, facts. Why? It's because. The content has to make sense. The substance has to make sense. What category you are are you even in? Like, are you in education, finance, this, that, the media? Like, and media is way different from entertainment. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, these are different categories. So it's like, when you even doing content, the content has to revolve around your brand. Nah, if you're trying to show joy and a lifestyle, but your content, you're trying to sell... I mean, you're, you're, you're trying to provide a service to cut hair. That don't make sense. Mm-hmm. Like, bro, you should be putting out different, you should be breaking out each different clippers, what each different clippers is, what each different uh, um, guards, yeah. which each, you know what I'm saying? So with the spray for. I think the, I seen a, a, a what was it, a video they were talking about the difference between marketing and branding. Branding, yes. And like, I think somebody just, <laughs> it's, more recently I seen one where somebody was like, uh, Marketing is asking a girl on a date. Right. But branding is the reason why right. she, she would say yes. 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 And I was like, damn, that shit hard. It's like going to the gym, right? I go to the gym, right? And I, you know, all the fellas, they can steal this. You know what I'm saying? But you go to the gym, right? And you're working out. And then you see that that girl. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you don't go, you don't like if once y'all lock eyes and y'all make contact or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't go to her and like, hey, what's up? Like, can I get your number? Bro, she's in there trying to work. She don't want to be in there. She'd rather go get a BBL, bro. Mm-hmm. You feel me? She'd rather yeah. go get surgery. So, like, why don't you already just come off into a situation to where it's like, 
all right, I know she don't want to be here. And technically, bro, it's hard on me being right. here yeah. too as well. So why yeah. you just don't come off like, why can't we both just be in shape already? Mm. You, you see? At this point, you already engaged in the content. I mean, it, within a conversation, and it ain't even nothing. And that's just, I'm. that's a fun fact. That's the way you start all your brand videos. Mm. Already within the conversation so people understand what the whole entire video is about. Like a hook, for real. It's a hook. Yeah, that's all facts. it is. You feel me? Yeah. So, nah, this shit, I feel like a lot of people be sleeping on the content. And, and, and even one of my, my sponsors, shout out to Top Dog Law, he was saying, because the time he's paying me, he was like, a lot of people look at uh, marketing as an expense. He was like, I look at marketing as a necessity Necessity. because marketing is going to make me money. But a lot of people, even like we talk about camera, like they be like, how much it costs? Oh, I ain't got that. Yeah. But it's it's okay not to have it because this is where, this is where you, people don't understand uh, the the value of what money is, mm -hmm. right? You buying your time back. Go get that person. Okay, cool. Shorty want to do this? Bang, let's figure a way out to where though it's beneficial for both of us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And take this. Bro, if I was I'll buy my time back so I can go do more of this. I can go make more money while you record me. Mm-hmm. But if I got to sit here, set up the tripod, set up the lights, set up this, prep this, prep that, read this, read that, I can already just be reading and it already can mean you can already be playing play. Yeah. And recording me the whole time. I think I seen uh, a video where the guy was like, <laughs> he was like, yo, he, I think he charged, I don't know, it was 5000 I don't know. He, he, had a, he had a price, right? Right. And the guy was like, man, that's too much. He's like, all right, cool, cool. Yeah. He was like, I'll record it for free. But every sale you make from this video, I need, I need 50%. Per- <laughs> I did that before. He's like, I ain't doing that. He like, I did that before. I did that in New York and the guy was like, the way I set my contract up for real, you feel me, is where as though he couldn't like, he couldn't re- rebel against it or he would have got sued. It was gonna work in my favor regardless. Man, he was like, Shorty, that's one of like one of the craziest ideas I ever. I he cause he thought it wasn't gonna work. Mm-hmm. I'm the editor and the filmer. Mm-hmm. I know the game. I actually do social media management and branding. So therefore, if I know all the steps to make you go viral. Or for it to work, at least for a certain amount of time, brother, I'm gonna make the money. Mm. So he like, so I do it on the back end. You know what I'm saying? He seen the that shit end, coming out, bro. <laughs> that nigga hurt. I I had lower expectations for myself because I I set a cap, man. I seeded that, bro, within the first weeks, the first weeks to the middle to the second middle, so a week and a half. Mm. That's when he was like, bro, look, I ain't gonna lie to you, like. I don't want to keep da 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 da. I'm like, nah, he like, I'd rather just pay you up. Front. Right, I bet you I do. I said, no, no, we going to let this rock out. He was right. just like, oh, I'm just going to get a whole nother videographer. I said, well, as long as you just not making money off of that, yeah. I mean, you still right. got to do what you got to nah, do. Nah, crazy. Bro. What you doing now, though, bro? Like, how how is the uh, the game for you now? Uh, the game for me now is good, man. I'm, uh, got a couple, I got a, I ain't gonna say a couple. I got a lot of contracts on the table. Yeah, right man, now. that's why I can never get in contact with you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. Uh, bro, yeah. when the next time we gonna do some work, bro? Try and get some. Try and get some. ASAP. Bro, you coming to the run tomorrow? <laughs> that's eight. It's too early. That's eight o'clock. I gotta go see. You know, I'll be at the gym. Bro, go to the gym after. I'm going to the gym after too. Stop playing with. It. I'm going to box right Am after. I, I'm recording tomorrow. If I record tomorrow, that would be re- cool. I'll record. I'd rather record, bro. That'd be fire. And I go to the gym. Like we, we can go to LA Fitness or something. You still gonna have to do the two. No, two miles though. No, I'm in two the miles car. is light though. I'm in the car with it. But you gonna have somebody driving? Somebody gonna have to drive. <laughs> 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 See, this is what I'm saying. This is what the videographers and photographers <laughs> got to go through, bro. He, look, I say I've. I've we gonna work tomorrow, and then on top of that, he want me to run. Uh, it's two miles. Two miles not a lot. Yeah, that's I a mean, lot. You think that's a lot? With a camera in your hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Our camera's small too. What are you talking about? Our shit. We got. <laughs> no nah, man. Man, what else is up, man? Talk to me, bro. I mean, so like, just the the contracts that's on the table. They they coming from so many different like areas and states and stuff. 
So right now I'm just trying to figure out like I I don't know if I want to be on a contract again. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. really, because I haven't my last four years I went from. R1A, I, I, it was a, a gym. I was working with those guys, helped build an A brand. Then I left R1A and I went to work for a Zotic car company, rental um, spot. And then from there, I was working with, uh, I signed with Mercedes Benz. I about to say, and did then, you do some shit with? Yeah, I signed with Mercedes Benz for eight eight campaigns. Wait, what the, what you doing with Mercedes Benz? Like, uh, So the 2026 G Wagon, I filmed that, the, all the EQ. S is electric joints. Oh, okay, so I, it's like branding I, shoots. I feel all I filmed all those too as well. I took pictures, filmed them. We took them out the fields and on back roads and stuff. It was a real production team. I was one of the DPS. Damn. So yeah, for sure, we had to use the RA cameras and stuff. Yeah, I've been like seeing that. you do um a lot of uh videos on the gram now, like uh content like, career. Yeah, like what's that about? Like just talking about free game. That's what I'm on. Like so, so for right now, it's like. Like I said, I, I do I do photography, videography, um, editing. I'm a colorist. A colorist is someone that color grades. So you, you call yourself saying? a colorist? Yes. That shit is hard. I'm a colorist too. I ain't so. never knew nobody who wanted to be a colorist. Nobody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm a colorist. But I ain't um, never meet nobody who actually was like, yeah, man, I want to do this shit. Like everybody I meet, they be on the same shit. Like, bro, that shit hard. This yeah. color shit is hard. Nah, man, I, I told you, bro, I'm I'm in it. Like mm. I'm all the way like I'm I'm I went to I went to a studio in um in LA because I went to a film school out there a year and a half ago and they was just walking me through the whole studio and how they have different uh different jobs for different people. And uh one of the guys out there is named Josh Lay, he was telling me like like the 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 best thing that you could do is just be a student of the game. Mm-hmm. So I was just reading every last room we went past, and I'm like, oh, it's a colorist, editor, photographer, videographer, editor for reels, editor for long format, <laughs> editor for this, editor for that, light, sound. So I'm just taking pictures of all of them, and I'm just like, I'm gonna learn every last one of them. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I did, and that's how I got to where I'm at now. So for social media management. I'm building three different platforms right now on YouTube. Uh, one of them, we just started literally like four days ago. We got like 200 subscribers. Mm. And then um, one of them was at 67K. They had three, 300,000 subscribers. And then another one is from, we built, we've been, that's the slowest one right now. It's not really slow, but it's because of the content. We're not putting out content. Mm. But I mean, they had 1,600 subscribers from zero. You know that's what I'm saying? Bad. So that's really not bad neither. But I'm saying it could be better. You know what I'm saying? Like I just I'm just holding the girl accountable at mm-hmm. this point. But um digital products, like my preset, I, I make presets of LUTs and sell them to like the upcoming photographers and videographers, making they they uh life more easier and faster so they can go make more money. And um Let me ask you this. We know that this is what they say. Uh Da Vinci Resolve yeah. is good with color. That's what they say. For sure. How much better is it than Premiere Pro? Um, I didn't really dive into uh Da Vinci Resolve at all. For real? Nah, I'm what I'm you on, use? I'm on Final Cut. So so you think Final Cut is better than Premiere Pro? Uh, yes. No way. The only reason why, listen, Premiere Pro has a more variety of different things for you to actually do. But once you it, it the the actual program crashes too much. It does, yeah. I was so I it mean, does. you got three hours worth of footage and this shit oh crash. My, yeah, bro, does. like oh I ain't God. got time for that. Yeah, I'm, that I, shit. You got to think about it. I do a lot. I do documentaries. I do commercials. I do all this stuff. So yeah. when these people want they want want they content, bro, I got to be able to Man, get the that content. That shit back. be moving so slow, bro. That's the only thing about Premiere Pro. Like, no, nah, I got to teach you something. Proxies, proxy, yeah. a proxy timeline with an SSD. I mean, editing off the SSD, but bro. Still, you never had to worry about anything. Premiere Pro, just it be low, it be light, like, bro. And don't edit on Wi Fi. The much time I gotta put space. Turn the Wi Fi off. You know what I'm saying? Because you gotta think about it. The software is a subscription base. So when it's coming up, when your subscription base comes up, they lag, they lag it, bro. It's a, it's, bro, it's, bro, it's a. So, come so, on, bro. They gotta get their money, bro. So you, 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 you base, you use Final Cut. Simply because Premiere Pro Let, crashed too much. Yes. But if it didn't crash, you would use Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro. Oh, all right. 
Because I feel like I'm I mean, not, and I don't like Premiere Pro timeline either. I, I don't like the way they. I don't like the way they timeline. See, I, I like the timeline. I love Final Cut Pro timeline. I like because, but Da Vinci is kind of similar to Final Cut though. The timeline, right? It don't really sh like Final Cut timeline actually shows the video. Each, the video in the in the in the timeline. Yeah, and 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 what you comes is like these little uh, purple marker, a uh, white marker, like. Oh, okay. Uh, and it's like with that for real, it's like you gotta keep looking at the top screen and cut it back. Look at the top screen, cut back. For me, I'm looking at. I don't even be looking at my finished work. I already be looking at. I don't look oh, at the. Okay. Why as I'm editing, I don't look, you at, look that. at the time. The, like I'm the, just looking at my timeline the whole time. That's crazy because I uh, I learned how to edit on Final Cut, bro. <laughs> I I don't even know how to work that shit no more. Like I learned how to edit on Final Cut, and then I found out that Final Cut is literally the same thing as iMovie. Yeah. It's the same thing for the most part, right? Or no? I mean, yeah. I mean, yes, but no. I feel like I'm our movie don't got like, like keyframing and all oh, that yeah, type I of mean, stuff. Oh yeah, I mean, but because it's not and really then, like warp real. stabilization. If, yeah. if like they updated Final Cut a lot, so and then like it, I feel like it's more plugins available for Final Cut now too as well. So okay, it's just it's just different. Damn, what's your favorite camera right now? Uh, Sony or I, Canon? Hold up, Sony or Canon? I mean, you, you know, gonna say Sony? You know I'm going Sony, okay, bro. Yeah, I'm a Sony ass. guy. But listen, I love Canon too, though. Don't get it wrong. Like I used to have a, uh, I was I was just playing around with it. Um, after I bought my 6500, that was my first camera I ever owned. Uh, the a the a the a6500 Sony. But I had wound up getting a Canon, like a T Rebel or something. Mm -hmm. And I just like the way how flat it looked. The color. Like, I was just I like how flat the it color looked. Is so it was good. Fire, but I had bro. to go back to like my style of photography. Is like I got so many different styles of photography. I like that 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 three D effect. Sony. Like, yeah, I like that. Uh, Sony. I like how I like my I'm color. Now, now I'm a colors. Yeah. So I know how pop. the color to Canon looks. Yeah. I like Canon because it just looked like movie. Like that's all I can explain. It, I mean, it looked like you could do that on. You can really do that on a Witcher on, on a Sony. On a Sony, only like, but you got to get in the settings. I feel like Sony is like sharp. Like like Sony, it's like a sharper look. It's like a more edgy look. Yeah. Like Canon is like butter. Yeah. Like I don't know how to explain it. It's like Canon, like like Sony fire. Don't get me wrong. You just gotta turn down the sharpness. Like once you go into settings, you turn down the sharpness. You turn. The saturation up a little bit. You turn the dehazer down. It's really like, it's like the the good thing I like about Sony is that they made it to where as though you can change the settings in the camera before you even get into editing. Mm. So it's like once you put it in, it's like editing. It's like they put Final Cut or Premiere Pro or DaVinci inside the camera already. Most people don't know those things. So that's why I, I'm starting to get into content creating. They got a saying, give me percentage of which is which out of 100%. They got a saying that it's not the camera, it's the person, person working, working the camera. The camera. Mm -hmm. If you had to give me a percentage on each side, how much of it is true? Like, is it 70% the person behind the camera? 50% the camera? Like, what how, What would you say? Um, Because that camera, you get a so, good camera, you could just flick that up. That should still look nah. good. Nah. Cause you still got you still got angles, you still got perspective, you still got okay. depth of field. So what, what, what was the percentage? You still got lighting. Um, I'm gonna go with 70, 30. 70 person, 30 camera. Yes, because like with, with me, like even everything that you see me do, like I I literally like write it out. I I set the lighting, the audio, all these things matter. Like even to my little sound effects, my pop up sound effects, every little thing matters. That comes from the person. The person has to already see it. Already as creative before you even created. I know the answer to this, but for this nigga right here, right, and for the people out there, because I was one of them. Top five things in order that makes a good video. I, can you elaborate on that? What's the the most important thing you need to have a good quality video? Okay, so you have to have audio. Who in order? In order. Yeah, in order. To make a good video? A really good video. Lighting yeah. first. Come on. What else? <laughs> um, audio second. Come on. <laughs> um, audio treatment. This We're going to put that with audio. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. 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 So good audio. audio. Um, lens. Okay. I want it. Okay. Okay. That's not, I ain't mad at that. 
Or we can either go. No, I'm go either, you. You don't let me persuade you. I'm gonna go because we we leaving people out of it and we leave it. You are, we did we already get the format of the video down already? Nope. Just, All right, for planning. So, so it's planning. I'm so going, what's number one? So number one is planning. Okay. Number two is lighting. Number three is um, audio. Okay. Number four is. Ooh, number four, I'm going lens. And then number five, I'm going camera. Bro. Okay. Yeah, no. I mean, Basically, that's what I'm saying. I think camera is the least most important. Yes, it is. Like, a lot of people be saying, like, camera, camera, camera. I'm like, I'm trying to scream to the top of my <laughs> lungs. But I was that person, too. I'm, I'm, I'm ready I'm ready to mess everybody up, right? And this, What this, you about to say? Listen, listen, I got, no, no, listen I'm ready to mess. <laughs> listen, I'm ready to mess everybody up, right? And this is probably one of the most viral. Like, this is probably, when you clip this, this is probably going to go viral. Half of the content that I'm shooting right now is on the FX30. FX30. Yeah, nah. Even when you told Ver me FX30, I was like, Versus my, my, my FX6, FX3, A1. Can I have your F FX6 then? Mm, I mean, I need that for more, like, production. You know? <laughs> like, I'm just I mean, saying. I mean, bro. That motherfucker I... spank. Yeah. Yo, all right. I, I be telling people all the time, I'm like, bro. People are like, yo, how I start my podcast, bro? How I start my podcast, bro? Start with your iPhone. iPhone. Like, what I think, in my perspective, when you shooting. Oh, yeah, but. What? Go ahead. I mean, iPhone, yeah. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not against the iPhone. The only reason I say iPhone, hear me out. The only reason I say iPhone is because before you invest in an expensive-ass camera, at least you get practice. a... At, at, or not even practice. Get a... Get yeah. a um, uh, some repetition in to see that you like it. Right. Because you might get a camera, get all this shit, and you don't even like it. I'm saying, yo, get you 10 episodes in. 10. Yeah. Get get you a nice flow and get 10, 20 episodes no, in off the phone. For sure. And if you fucking with it and the people fucking with it, go get a camera. Run before you fly. That's that's all I'm saying. That's you crawl before you walk. Yeah. So it's like, bro, if you get, and, and I'm even going hard as get you a, now I'm giving game. Get you a, uh, Softbox. Come on, you know what you, you but you, you know I know what I'm talking about with the grid, bro. If you get you a, uh, I ain't even gonna go that far yet. If you get you a a, a ring light, ring you could buy a soft box for a ring light. If you ain't got the money, you get a you get a, a plastic bag. Game. You get a plastic bag. Get a white plastic bag. Tie that motherfucker over oh, the ring light. light. You get three ring. cloth. Co a cloth is better. Come on, it, 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 it bro. Diffuse the light. You soft and light. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You get you a mic. You get a blue Yeti mic for like eighty dollars. Or you can go get the roll mic. Facts. They like they only like one hundred fifty dollars for the phone. I'm just yeah, no facts. So I'm saying like a lot of people they be talking about this this game. I'm like yo, the most important thing is not the camera, bro. And you said planning. I'm gonna go far as and say probably uh aesthetic. Just. Not even location, but just how you dress the room. That's everything. That's planning. Yeah, you feel me, like, bro? That's planning. What mm -hmm. you gonna talk about? The substance, everything. I keep telling you, feel me? man. You gotta, you gotta do your thing. I'm here already, though. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. So when you hear, it's like, yeah, I wanna look at it. I mean, look at this whole production. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like, how can you not listen to that person? But I'm here already. If I wasn't here, but bro, some shit going on. I gotta make some changes. I'm making changes. Just like I'm saying, like, if some shit hit the fan. Knock on wood. I'm going to my iPhone. And I got a 15. I'm shooting this bitch in flat. Ooh. <laughs> color graded. Then color graded. I'm about to start shooting the interviews in flat. Yeah. I ain't going to lie to you. It's just, I don't want to do too much work because the LUTs come on the cameras. But. Yeah, but I mean, I got some LUT packs. So I look out. Yeah, you got the LUTs. I do got the LUT. Did you like that LUT I sent you? I ain't use it because I got a lot of LUTs. But did you yeah. Did you even like test it? Yeah, yeah, I like it. How did it look? It looked good. Oh, I, I just, I ride. Like for real though, how did it really look? It looked good, bro. Oh, I right. like your work, bro. I got, I really, I could really be a cameraman for real. <laughs> I got some shit, bro. I could really. You know? Everybody is the eye. That's what I said. That's my brand. Fact, the, the guy the, would like, well, I have the eye productions and then I put myself in it. I LLC myself, my name, mm -hmm. which is Seven Towns. And then the LLC, the eye, the guy with the eye. Okay, you know what I'm saying like, top that's three. Ring. Top three mistakes people make when they come to like con filming something. Let's do top three mistakes in videography and the top three mistakes in photography. Um, top three mistakes and it's really not a mis It's no, it's really not a mistake because everybody got their own individual perspective on it. But what I would say is like not coming prepared. That's the that's the. 
the te- the, the, that's the first thing. Not fucking me up. Prepared. I wouldn't even thought about that. That's the, really that's the real. Second, the second thing is not coming on time, and then the third thing is just you didn't even ask the person exactly how the lighting was going to be or anything like. But that that falls under being prepared. I mean, being prepared, but it's not because that's like you saying I need you to film my wedding, mm-hmm. right? But are your wedding gonna be outside? Inside? Like you still gotta engage within the customer. So we just think that we just got to pull up with the camera and let the camera just do everything. It's really about prepping way before you even get there. Bro, you ain't even... I'm thinking you're going to say aspect ratio or uh, the... What's the the rule? rule of, uh, not rule of thirds, but like the... The uh, you know, the ISO gotta be on oh, yeah. this, and the they got I'm you ain't say none of that, you didn't even get to the camera, <laughs> yeah. I always say, bro, it, it's that's why I said, bro, it's like I, I, I'm a, I'm a study of like I'm not, I'm a study of, of this, but I'm a study of outside of this. That's how I brung so much into this, and like Kobe, I like Kobe is like one of my guys that like I really look up to, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, because the way he just narrated and broke the game down and just everything his whole entire life like he was like get one woman mm. you know what i'm saying work from there now you have time that one woman shall understand the sacrifice and it's like okay cool it's like all right okay well, well, well my family my family had to understand the sacrifice of me going on what i had to go gotta do so it's like i applied that within my like watching uh, the greats from even outside of the game, like of photography and videography, it's preparation. Preparation is everything. The, it's everything, bro. Yeah. Like it's literally everything. Preparation will make your life so much easier. Like Yo, like, like today, remember? Like we got on the phone. I'm like, bro, like I gotta go do this, go do this, do this. All right, I got that done. Now we can talk about time. Now we can da 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 da. Remember, even when we was outside, remember I was like, it was one thing that you didn't do. You was like, what? And I was like. I don't even know if you caught on. I was like, you thought of, you seen the video and you said it looked easy because the guy made it look easy for us the challenge. Mm-hmm. But you didn't even realize, you the didn't gloves, even take it. The I gloves, ain't even that's what I was saying. You ain't even I you ain't even fact to end that you did it at a different time. Yeah. That 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 the time of the day that he did it, <sighs> it was it wasn't even the sun outside. Yo, you doing it outside, eleven it o'clock, hot. midday. The turf is hot as hell. You feel me? But nah, bro, we could talk about this all day. You gotta pull up again, bro. Um, let's I like I'm a nerd. I could talk about this shit yeah. all day. That's why I was trying to get y'all niggas to talk before, like cause like he a nerd too. Like yeah. I'm a nerd. Sure. We all three are nerds. Let's do this again, man. I fuck with you, bro. Tell the people how to follow you, how to get to you, support your content, or become a customer, all that. Um I'm Tevin Towns on every platform. Tevin underscore towns on every platform. It's some other pages that's that ain't mine. Mm-hmm. Um, but Tevin underscore towns is my main page and all the pages that I collaborate with. And um, uh, my website, um, you can look me up on Google as well. You can contact me through Google. And, I mean, yeah. Yeah, hey, man, it's my guy, man. I can't call him out. It's not my videographer. I wish I could say that, but he's my guy. Yeah, but, for sure. You know, he trying to get him to do some more work, man. You see? No, I mean. Tevin no, Towns, gonna, guy, guys. Y'all going to see a lot more footage. Y'all going to see a lot more footage, a lot more pictures. This on camera. Um, everything. It's on camera. You know what I'm saying? Coming, coming through. Hold him to we, that. We stuck with we, we did the photo shoot at first. Yeah. Then we got the video done. Yeah. You feel me? Now we just keep building, keep building. You're coming Next tomorrow. Next thing is the workout video. I just got to get a drive. The, you bluffing on the workout video. I, I've been, I've no, been on I, you. You know I'm not. I'm just trying to get the right bro. The I'm guys. trying to start the <laughs> we get the jogging. That's a work. That's a kind of a workout. We just did jogging. We just no, did we running, did a, bro. Uh, uh, challenge. Yeah, but you did running. So nice. it's like now we gotta keep building. Nah, I'm trying to. I'm. You can look at my DM. I'm looking for the nigga with the boxing gym. I promise you, bro. I promise you, bro. <laughs> yeah, for sure. My guy gotta go, man. Tevin right. Towns, J Hill, J Hill podcast. We out, man. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah,